Hi guys, we'll just review my last L Class car I have, the Lamborghini Countach 25th anniversary. So, we're going to be checking out one of my A Class. I do have the B Class, but it's one of the, you know, do the A Class series. Um, so, let's do the A Class. I'm gonna be using the only upgraded car enough actually. I had the catalog and all that, but I want to use the Renault McGain trophy. Um, the last race of A class is a Heimstrick Classic. Judging by the price, it's not gonna be. Judging by the reward, I think it's a two lap. This car is fast, so I think we should be able to done it. Now, um, Renault McGain trophy is a very important car in GC racing too. Um, it's probably because the Renault. Megane Trophy unlocks the Renault Alfine, which is a huge, um, huge advantage in, what do you call it, the team race cities. And it also, it, this car unlocks the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, which can only be unlocked with that one, this car. What's wrong with this? Why is it stopped? Come on. What the fuck? Yeah, anyway, so yeah, the Renault Alfine, uh, you can unlock the Renault Alfine and the Ferrari F12, which makes the... Renault McGain Trophy, a very important car. If you want to have those two legendary cars, I suggest you get this car right away, sir. Um, actually, I did not purchase this car myself. Um, I actually got it on a team race reward when I was before I had my own team. Uh, before I was in the Korea's team, so my other guy's team, I unlocked it because there were team race events, and I've been using it ever since. And I actually, owing to the fact that there's so many events involved with it, I've upgraded. Nearly to the maximum. I'm only, only missing on one upgrade, so which makes nearly a max upgrade. So yeah, it has a really high performance stats, and I think the performance is okay. Not that good, to be honest. Um, there are better cars. The especially in the top speed, it definitely needs an improvement. But it's a track car, has a quick acceleration and handling. So I think, I think, this one has an okay performance overall. Although I don't really approve the looks, and I didn't approve of the normal McGain back in C-Class, I think the McGain Trophy is a very important and a nice car to drive. In the multiplays, it'll usually do good, but when it you know meets the S-Class cars, sometimes it goes down. When it meets cars like Audi R18 or stuff like that, when you have it really highly upgraded. But overall, it'll do excellent in multiplays also, so which makes it a very nice choice. And I actually competed completed the A-Class Open Series with this one. I think it'll do you pretty well in career too. I mean, we're doing second. We're just racing a Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. Um, the interior is pretty simple actually, probably because the track car, it's this Renault Sport in the center. It kind of looks like a video game. It is like you're driving a video game car in a video game. That's that, if that makes sense, I think. That's what I think. Yeah, I think like it's like you're driving a video game car in a video game. Yeah, I kind of, I think that way. It's a bit weird. Um, the interior is really, really simple, if we can call it like that. But the car's performance is, oh fuck, what are we doing? It's extremely unoriginal. It's really nice. So yeah, I suggest you get this car. I mean, I don't think it's that expensive either. And I think it costs 200, 207,000 credits in cash. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's... Not that expensive, so be sure to get this car because it's very important. And yeah, it'll do you a lot of it. It's very important and has okay performance stats. So we're doing... I painted this car yellow, it's pretty nice, right? So let's enjoy the drive from now on. And this car will do pretty high top speeds too. But... Um, I was quite surprised by the upgrade cost. It costs... Quite a lot, if you ask me. It costs... It, I mean, the upgrade costs are a little bit too expensive. But, yeah, overall this car is a great car. And there's... You should get it. And I really love the way those, those rear lamps you know, flash up and down. I think it's great. It's pretty, really pretty looking. Um, Although I have two other... Three, actually. Three other A-class cars. Um, I'll be making them later. I have the Cadillac, the Ferrari F12, and the GTR. But I'm going to be making that later because um well, not the GTR I have the SLS I'm not sure but yeah um I'll be up I'll be uploading the videos of them when I have them upgraded so and that was our first day class car review the Renault McGain trophy so thank you guys so much for watching I certainly hope this gets a lot of views and peace out guys